All right, we return. I want to get my fleet up to at least 40k before uh, I start to do anything uh, interesting. Obviously, uh, I should really change that. Anyway, uh, Taurus Collective. Yeah, we're going to go and build up our fleet up towards um, at least 40k uh, before we take on the Han Star Regime as well as the Galactic Zerkok Politi. Uh, we do have a bunch of ships that we can complete. churn out relatively quickly right now. At least one cruise or more. That's always nice. 387 minerals a turn is not all that bad at this stage in the game. Complete. We do have a bunch of energy that we can complete. build up. So let's go complete. and do that. Also, somebody mentioned uh, the Zen Rect system needs to be changed to complete. Zen Rect, obviously. Because uh, we got two planets in this system. At least, I think so. This is just, yeah, we got uh, Rect Zen. No, this is the star, yeah. So, Xen, and then this becomes Rect. Perfect, so. The star is now renamed, so we actually complete. have... Actually, we can do a little bit more than that on that one. Uh, let me just quickly put a... It would be nice project complete. if I could type. Okay, so the miners have been updated to the latest variants, which is good. Uh, it's going to take a little time. Battleship assembly arrays are being built. Somebody had a question, actually, regarding cruiser yards. Uh, they just increase cruiser build speed. But they used to do, they also reduce cruiser build cost. But that is obviously no longer a thing. Uh, thank you for uh, come uh, telling me that, by the way. That's a very, very useful information getting more cruisers out is obviously a fairly big priority for me at the moment because i do want to get up to uh, a larger amount of ships uh, we also need to take a look at our ship designs a little bit if we need to specialize some of this stuff uh, we don't need to do anything about the armor weapons seem to be doing fine uh, like we're, we've done a bunch complete. of upgrading last episode as well uh, we're running maxed out shields and stuff like that, so overall we're, we're looking pretty good. I quickly need to go and check something really important, actually, regarding the broadcast that I did on Sunday. Give me a moment. Ah, there we are. So, oh good lord, let's not do that. Um, because I'm going to colonize a new planet. I'm finally going to get around to colonizing this world. And we are going to name it after the very first sponsor of my channel. That's right. We are going to name it after Mr. Lowe, who has been so, so very nice to uh, sponsor the channel through the uh, streaming system. So basically, uh, every single time I stream, you can basically do similar to like what Twitch has with a subscription service. And basically... Uh, uh, yeah, it's like five bucks a month, and uh, he was the very first one who did it, and as such, he deserves his own planet also. He gave a most more than generous, generous donation on top of that, which is always appreciated. Regardless, we're gonna go and continue on and uh, make sure that all this stuff happens. Um, we'll probably be streaming again, maybe on Friday, uh, at something like that. I do have the day off, so I'm tempted to do... A, uh, a bit of an impromptu run through when it comes to some of the more uh, the, some of the other species that I haven't played with yet. When it comes to synthetic dawn, I've not been played yet with the uh, servitors. I've done a, uh, a separate gameplay, uh, like my own private one with exterminators in the background. I was having a lot of fun with that. So uh, maybe something with um, the other guys as well would be cool. Um, what can we get? Tachyon sensors. 55 months is a little bit long, but it's still pretty good. Um, are we getting any crazy bonuses at the moment? Patron of the Arts. Okay, we're currently not getting anything from the curators. So we need to go and have a chat with the curators. And Okay, we need 5,000 because of our population. Construction probably. complete. That is a shame. So... Uh, but yeah, this system, we're going to have to rename all that stuff and uh, make sure that everybody's happy with all that. So that's going to be uh, Mr. Complete. Lowe. There it is. Lowe's got his own system because uh, 
Apparently he's Norwegian, so that's pretty cool. Regardless, we're gonna quickly, swiftly move on here. I kind of want to balance my energy production first before we do anything more rigorous. Um, we're gonna need all that energy in order to be a little bit more productive on a global level. Being able to dock, undock our fleet would be very useful. And in addition, I think some of my habitats need development. Construction complete. So we're just going to build some solar processors on these tiles. And with the bonuses that we get from complete. our energy TARs, we should be getting, I think, plus eight per, uh, per output, which is pretty good. I'll put uh, two researchers on here as well. As soon as uh, the month turns over, so we can uh, get that sorted out. But also, once we've uh, colonized this planet, we can remove this outpost, which is very useful. Let's put it that way. Uh, laboratory complex, and just waiting for one more laboratory complex, and then we can move on. Uh, the Felmel Shipping Alliance has started to integrate the Kalahajom. I don't really know who those guys are. Uh, other habitats. Oh, dear lord. These ones don't have anything to go on either. Mm -hmm. Energy, obviously, is going to be really important in the long term. Uh, I'm looking to build a, uh, a Dyson Sphere at some point. I think that will be a great addition to our empire. Uh, let's just leave this energy pops for now and let them do their own thing. 39. Uh, we're not even close to capping out on our fleet cap. Uh, we will put a couple of new destroyers in there. Uh, so let's take a look at the relationships that stuff. Yeah, the Yanari and the Galactic. Okay, they're rivaling each other. That's good Planetary for us. Procedure. Oh, and they really hate each other as well. So the Yanari are hostile towards the Galactic Zircoc Politi. That is very positive. Okay, Construction so. complete. Are they all in alliance with each other? Yeah, they are. Okay. That is highly unfortunate. Technological acquisition. Okay, so there's the Ottinger fleet. It's 38,000. Thankfully, due to them being so kind to get within our sensor range, we can now see what they have. Bomber wings, flak artillery, gauss cannons. Pretty strong. Uh, not No advanced reactors, funnily enough, do use kinetic cannons. So a decent mix, a lot of shield damage, it's a good thing that we're running a lot of armor, and they're not using any sort of modifiers on all their uh, smaller stuff. We can get the little stuff going. Uh, we may need to get some flak on our ships, so we need to build a new destroyer design because they're going to try something sooner or later, so we need to get some medium slots on here. I don't have any... I don't have any... <laughs> any of that yet sadly but in two years time we will have uh, updated versions of some complete. of the more arrested development great one of my scientists got arrested development which means that he's become completely useless he will no longer develop in any way shape or form anymore which is a real shame uh, we're currently complete. not developing this planet very very actively uh, the planet newt that is uh, for reasons that are reasons we could do some mineral Dramatic stuff alert. here military confrontation detected. this okay cool so the anaria now at war, at war at war with the zircog that means they're also automatically at war with the kingdom of otiger okay so the anari zircog fight galactic zircog for the kingdom of otiger is in there a lot in the Han Star regime. Good. And that means that we can go to war as well. That means we can go to war with bulky consumer products, Kingdom of Ottinger, and the Galactic Circoc, Politi. And with a bit of luck, we we'll, should be able to have the uh, these guys at least, the Ottingers, to stay away from our stuff as long as possible. Uh, and Nust, we want, we want Rigel. Uh, we're going to destroy this outpost. We're going to take Pilia, whatever. Um, we want to take the the capital world of these guys. And if we can get it, which I don't think we will be able to. How about Ziff? How much is Ziff? There's two planets in there. We can afford that. Um, Saldar, maybe? 
99. Diplomatic alert. War protocols initiated. All right, war protocols have been initiated. That's good for us. Let's go and jump immediately on top of the enemy. Uh, Ottinger will be busy with the Zerkog. Uh, so these two will be at war. Uh, with a bit of luck, the Zerkog will not be too proactive with trying to take our territory. And thankfully, due to my uh, active upkeep when it comes to our uh, building energy, it means that one now that we undock our fleet, we are not running into too many problems which is always positive getting a lot of energy going etc what have we got here it's a minor fleet and it's the, not the end of the world wrecked zen does have a bunch of very interesting stations on it do we need to max some of this stuff out let's put some synchronized defenses on these stations it does increase the fire rate and weapon damage by 25 each technological which is effectively ooh, probability engine energy credits plus 25 um more demands would have been... Why am I going for habitability? Although... Let's go for war demands then. And in the meantime, let's go to the service of TARS. We're going to need to replace something here. With a more important building. I really don't want to mess with our energy income. Right now, our physics income plus 6 would be really nice to change around. Let's cancel this project and replace it with the probability engine. That gives us a 10% bonus on all of our income on energy, uh, which is should be up to... Hey, hello there, Zircog. What are you doing out here? That's very cute. Orbital nexus engaged. It doesn't matter. We've literally... Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so the Zircog have decided to invade our space, even though they're being attacked Executing evasion protocols. by their, their border. Okay, so they're... Where are you guys going? Following the coast. What the hell is the coast? Alert. Station engaged. I'm not entirely sure where they're going. Construction complete. Alert. Station engaged. Regardless of what they're doing, whenever they're flying into this system, they're going to lose all their stuff. As such, uh, we should probably build a new military station here. We can't build a robo-fort right now, sadly. Uh, new habitat is ready. Hostile Let's fleet see. assets engaged. Excellent. We'll get a... Energy tar is on there ASAP. Oh, we jumped right in, right on top of them. Nice. Well, that will lose their fleet. It looks like they were just trying to merge with the coalition fleet. Whatever our losses are, like their battleships are all toast anyway. So, um, what did we lose? We lost nothing. They lost everything. Six destroyers gone. And no research left either. So. complete. I guess that's nice. Meanwhile, our fortresses are complete. taking care of all the small stuff. That is just continuously trying to jump in and basically going through our territory in order to uh, get in there. Okay, so we should be jumping into here. Hostile stationary asset. Okay, engaged. so there is a simple station here and just an orbital thingy. So it's not, not the worst. Let's get our troops to follow this here army, uh, this here fleet. Okay, hostile fleet detected. Yeah. Okay, so the Zircock we've basically completely declawed after destroying their main capital fleet, which was the goal anyway. Um, okay, so you're attacking their mining stations. Not entirely sure if that is a good idea, but whatever. And our war goals seem to be pretty solid as well. As soon as we take down uh, the Han fleet completely, we should be looking pretty solid. Why are you engaging? It's a single corvette. Okay, so just waiting for the transport fleet to get into orbit and then take it from there. Why are you not assisting research? Oh, it's because you don't have a leader on it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I don't have any influence right now for a new leader, sadly. 
That is unfortunate, so we'll just have to use this one instead. Construction complete. Alright, bombing the planet into the ground. Still, again, Corvettes trying to fly in. I don't know why. Come on, bomb the planet. That's why you're here. Cool. It looks like we are now at a point that we can build a new defensive station. Also, this station over here needs to have synchronized defenses on it, and we will build a new robo fort right next to it. So any ship that flies into uh, that area will instantly be annihilated. Yeah. 50 cruisers, 10 battleships. I could do better than that, to be honest. Let's build another Max Tars. And then start uh, our invasion protocols. It's pretty heavily defended, this planet, actually. <sighs> that is very unfortunate that that Corvette just... We really need to take out the planetary defenses. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Okay, so we're destroying the planetary stuff quite handily. Our robots are super strong. Let's see if we can actually add some Mega War forms. Yeah, Mega War forms. Construction complete. Okay, cool. That's done. Let's go to Rigel, take out the next system. What the hell is this? Some cruiser. Where are you guys going? Merging with Voidfarers. Jumping to Altair. There's nothing there, though. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. So, they're going to go to trip. At least it looks like they're going to trip. Where are you guys going? Following the coast. Okay, so they're trying to merge with their uh, supposed capital fleet somewhere. Okay, following the coast, apparently. Whatever that fleet is called. It's not really a problem. We can take care of all that stuff. Okay, so we're building more cruisers and more destroyers. Ought to go right now, really not to be found anywhere. There's a bunch of, yeah, they're just, I have no idea where they're going. They're, yeah, they're, it looks like they're merging with another fleet somewhere, which is fascinating to me. Construction complete. Yeah, it looks like my new battle station is ready. It's pretty complete. tanky, to say the least. Hmm. Battle simulators. A little bit too close to the edge of my space to make that interesting. Let's put the armies on the ground. Their uh, planetary fortifications have been Alert. destroyed anyway. Unit Oh no, it's a single destroyer. What would I do? Planetary pacification protocols. What we're doing here initiated. with our fortifications. Fortifications are completely down. That's good. That means that we can go for their capital worlds. That means we'll have three planets into our Planetary control. Planetary service settlement established. Good. And we got a new planet as well. That is going to be not under than low. Oh, we're going to have some minerals on. What kind of... Just a standard TARS? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna put you on an uplink node and build a basic mine here with some minor TARS. Other stuff is gonna be energy on this planet anyway, because energy output is always good. The, the planetary size of it is also quite significant, so considering that is now done, it means that we can destroy this outpost and get 0 0.5 influence a month again. Which is what we wanted anyway. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Oh, okay, cool. We'll put everybody in orbits and we will follow the fleets. <sighs> ah, war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. If I actually upgraded my robo forts to something new, let's take a look at our designs. Ah, they're still running Marauder missiles. Uh, older missile types, actually. And this needs to be updated Whirlwind missiles. A little bit more strength shield bonuses. 
new armor plates, etc. Oh, that is a shield. Uh, we are running quite a lot of armor on this. What's our army armor value? It's not high enough, to be honest. I'd rather add a bunch of shielding on here instead. There we go. So that is now all updated. So we can. How much does the upgrade cost? Two hundred. Okay, and it's instant as well. So that's always good. So Fifty-five armor is totally acceptable. Still have no idea where their fleet is. Where is the Zerkar political fleet going? Go with Voidfarers. Technological acquisitions. Mm. Going to Altair and then into Sanctuary. Fighter wings, all that stuff. We could go into Mind Network 3. Meanwhile, our fortresses are just destroying everything that is just trying to come close. Which is always nice. And upgrading the... Um, are you bombing? Yeah, you are. Hostile orbital nexus engaged. It's a single Zerkar. Okay, so it looks like they're taking stupid routes. It's annoying. Okay, so we need to take down this outpost and this outpost. Yeah, all these destroy. <laughs> it's, <just laughs> it's a goddamn murder zone. That's great. Let's just land the armies, be done with them. Their defenses are minimal compared to our robots. So. One of our pacification protocols. Oh, my first war form is almost done. That's good. Construction complete. Yeah, their their feeble organic bodies are not going to be able to handle any of this. And the good thing is, our war score objectives. should now be at a point where we can pretty effectively take on the uh, any sort of enemies that we want to obviously take on we can take out all their fleets complete. there's two more outposts down here so we'll take out this outpost and that outpost then take Pilla. the problem with not taking Pilla is is that uh, this corridor is going to be difficult to defend in terms of um, range yeah getting Pilla was maybe not the best idea Construction complete. And after that, we're going to go after this planet. And actually, we're going to go after this outpost first. That was our buffer zone. We can build another robo fortress. Oh, wow, they're really expensive now. 1,200 minerals. Uh, with an upkeep of three, but that's totally doable. Let's build a new robo fort on our border system here. And this is also why I like hyperdrive. The sheer flexibility of it all is just really, really nice. Okay, so we got a couple of enemy fleets that are to Gentic. Oh, that's the Han fleet. How big is it? 10k? Okay. Not entirely sure why they would have an FTL trap here. It doesn't matter. We're just here to take out their uh, orbital stuff. Where... The Han fleet is somewhere out there, though. I know it is. I just saw it flying through my territory. So it's a case of finding it now. A couple void farers. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's go and take go over here and take out this complete. one. Uh, they don't have enough fleet power to do anything to my uh, to my conquests. Let's put it that way. This is very risky, by the way, because I know that there's an enemy fleet, fleet going to that there planet. I really hope I'm not going to lose my transport fleet in the process. Uh, there's some mega war forms we could potentially put on the ground. Yeah, there is the... There's their fleet. It's only... It's 111 Corvettes. That's what I'm dealing with here. Okay, they're going to go for Surcock territory. That's fine by complete. But yeah, thanks for putting the FTL traps right in the middle, right next to the stations. It basically means that I'm instantly there. Hey guys, what's going on? It's destroying your stuff. Your base, killing your dudes. Oh, and it's instantly part of my territory. That's a nice little gesture. Okay, so going for Pilla. 
Okay, so my worries regarding the FTL lines are completely unsubstantiated, thankfully. If I can find out where my, tra okay, my transport fleet, ooh, that is risky potentially. They will hyperlane into the other side of the system. And then we're going to go back and destroy the hundred and something Corvettes. Okay, what we got? Okay, so Admiral Liberal Cap in increased or army damage. Let's go for army damage. We are, in fact, at war. So having some of that is always good. Oh, wow. Okay. I see how it is. That is, uh, that's quite something. That's an expensive loss. That's a thousand minerals. We only destroyed one Corvette so far. Yeah, putting nothing but large and medium guns on this thing was probably not the best idea. Huh. Alert. Military How many did we kill? Ah, we killed one. <laughs> uh, Planetary surface settlement established. Fortress is garbage. Okay, so let's get you out there. Uh, solar processors that works. We got more than enough resources to fill this up with uh, as many TARS as we need to, so... Okay, what kind of tech do we got? Cheaper war demands? Even cheaper war demands? Growth speed would be nice. Let's go for growth speed. Not that it really impacts us. As soon as they're being assimilated, it becomes less of a problem. Are they bombing the planet right now? No, what are they doing? Okay, they're gonna go towards the planet right now and try to liberate it, but it's not gonna be particularly useful as soon as the planet is uh as soon as we've destroyed all oh good lord that is a lot of defensive units planetary pacification protocols but they have no defenses so it's a shame that we can't start assimilation whilst we've already captured them my god this is a juicy planet though very juicy planet I should have captured it size 24 that's pretty whack. Okay, so uh, we've won this fight. Let's go and kill this stupid fleet over here. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Oh, good lord. Okay, very damaging to say the least. Let's get my two warframes into orbit as well. Same thing with uh, the fleet over at Cooper. Yeah, we got two Mega Warframes ready to rock. I'm just going to park them in... Uh, I think it would be a good idea to put it in TARS. It looks like one of the Empires has become Xenoph... Uh, why is there an outpost here? Oh, it's a spaceport. Never mind. Thought it was an outpost for a second. Yeah, as soon as we destroy their fleet, we're going to go after this outpost and then make our way complete. down through the pipe, so to speak. But yeah, waiting for the perfect moment to go to war is optimal. Hey, hello there. Esteemed main conduit, Thaloth. A decade ago, the Taurus Collective pledged to support the artisan troop. Yes, I did. The time for your patronage is coming to an end, and would you like to re uh, would you like to renew? Yes, I would like to renew, because it is a pretty hefty bonus that we can get out of that. I would also like you to uh, help me in my, oop, in my research. It's a free 20 points for quite some time. Okay, so we're going to be jumping in right on top of their fleet. There's probably Planetary not much. Alert. Tile blocker expunged. Okay, cool. Uh, that was complete. over at low, I think. Yeah, we need to do some final clearing here before we can be a little bit more proactive. So let's get some entity TARS onto this world. Technological acquisition successful. And start building new ones. I know that I started in the bottom right corner on the tile and that this is not the most effective way of doing this, but yeah. I think this is a classic case of fuck the police. Okay. Technological acquisition success. Spare parts depot. Build, robot build speed minus 25. 15%. That's nice. Food output. Nah, thanks. Okay. Ooh, hello there neutronium ore. I'll have me some of that. Did their fleet bounce out? No, they're, they're still in here. Or at least they tried. Attacking the Stellar Rectrix. Where the hell did they go? Okay, they're over here now. 
Why did you guys jump out? They're right in the corner of the system. Looks like they're trying to logical acquisition successful. Relieve that planet. Two or three months, we can get better armor. Okay, following a long period of growing support, the Pulvico Combine is now xenophobic. That should really, really mess things up down there. Although, that's these guys. So they now basically hate everybody. Which is fine by me. I should really try to kill their annoying little fleet. So it's trying to get out into orbit of uh, their former capital world. Okay, so we're getting 140 energy a month right now, which is not insignificant to say the least. You can upgrade all of these to the max. So we will do that. A lot of minerals on this world, actually. I did not realize that. Um, let's build a mineral processing plant here. And the rest is all going to be minerals. And, of course, science where relevant. But yeah, you get the general idea there. Uh, minor TARS. This is the more advanced variant, which for some reason I have. We'll need to take a look at our species. Did we jump in on top of them? Did we kill them? Uh, we're about to. Wow. It's being a little bit more effective than that stupid station was. Look at that. Missiles everywhere. They're using... What are they using? Is that rail guns? It is rail guns. Some torpedoes, but the torpedoes won't last very long. Not versus our... Uh, oh my god, we're just eating them alive. Did we lose any ships so far? Oh, one cruiser is down. That's surprising. Battleships won't be able to do much. Or is that a destroyer hull? Could be a destroyer hull. Yeah, I think it was a destroyer hull. The cruisers are a bit bigger, a bit beefier. But uh, we've already destroyed half their fleet anyway, so... Uh, speaking of which, let's build some more cruisers. Yeah, they... Our cruisers are at a range where we can just instantly annihilate them. There we go. The fleet is down. Uh, a small railgun is the only tech we can get out of this. It's just not on my list of priorities. Uh, and yes, I will take this really crazy route because that means that we can go basically through all their FTL traps and take care of that. And then if the Ottinger fleet pops up at some point, then we will shit ourselves and basically call for peace immediately. Regardless, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, the Han is on their last legs. They only have one planet left. We're going to leave him at that. And then we're going to go and take down this, uh, this here outpost. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take good care of yourselves. And as always, meet Shudder.